Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. Thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing and that's what this video is all about. I'm going to run through 12 years of YouTube, which is really 12 years of me starting out my adventure in portable sawmilling. I started with a Husqvarna 455 Rancher and a Granberg small chainsaw mill. And from there I progressed into the LT10 and eventually the LT40 and you're going to see that in these videos. But there's also stuff in there from the cabin and other stuff I do. So some of you may have subscribed because of cabin videos or Jeep videos. I'm still doing some of those. Um, I have been concentrating more on the sawmill this year, of course, because that is my main focus, but, but there's some other stuff in there. So I hope you enjoy that and stick around and watch that. And during this video, I'm going to tell you how you can win a few items. Now, I reached out to some companies of equipment that I personally use. So Logrite, thank you very much. Logrite donated a sawmill special cant hook, I think a 30 inch, which is awesome. I think mine's 32, but honestly, I haven't measured it in a while and I can't remember. I've had it for probably 11 years, 10, 11 years. Um, I use both uh, the small and the 48 inch log right cant hook. So that orange one you see, that's actually a log right cant hook as well. Um, I also reached out to Woodmiser who are sponsoring the LT40 sawmill model that I'll be giving away as well as some hats. And then uh, United Rentals is actually gonna kick in. I'll throw a hat out from them. And another company called the Angry Gnome Armory. <laughs> And I'll tell you, Eric over at the Angry Gnome, he's a great guy, really awesome guy. And I know he's a local shop, but his, <laughs> his uh, sticker that I'm giving away, <laughs> you might like it. I don't know. It's an Angry Gnome. But uh, so somebody's going to win those things. And I'm going to tell you how to get those in this video. So sit back. Let's let this run. And I'll tell you how to win those items. And again, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. By the way, I love the comments. Keep them coming. So let's sit back and let this run. All right, let's let this play out. How about that little chainsaw mill setup? <laughs> There's the LT10. I'm gonna do this like a coffee one take from Brad over at Trail Recon if you watch his stuff. So I'm actually just gonna chat a little bit with you while this plays out. And there's that LT10 on the trailer. I'm a Hindu tractor, 19,000 views. Can you believe that? Crazy jarhead peeling logs. That LT10, we put it on a trailer. We called it the Super Manly LT10. <laughs> Trust me, you had to be manly to run this thing. And look at that log right can hook right there. I'm going to tell you a few extra ways you can use to win that can hook. In fact, I've got uh, five extra entries that you can get throughout this video. So I'll, I'll fill you in on those. But uh, 2016, got the LT40 and I started milling with it, cut my side support, skimmed the log clamp, had good fun with it. <laughs> and then I went out and started doing jobs. That's the trick I used right there, putting the sawmill uphill a little bit so it would roll backwards. Here's my Husky 576. That's up at the cabin. Here we are milling north of Spokane. I have milled everywhere, folks. Drive up to the cabin right there. By the way, if you... Uh, Want to win that log right can hook? All you got to do, put a comment down below in the comment section. Doesn't matter what you put in there. Of course, something nice, please. <laughs> but anyway, any comment, one one entry for comments you make in that down below, okay? So, again, coffee one take. So, there's going to be a lot of mistakes in what I say here. <laughs> if I'm not editing them out, so this is what you get. You're getting me live and unfiltered, folks. But here we are, this is, uh, we're still in 2016, I guess, milling up at Lake Chelan. That was a great time. And you'll see the truck in there's my old F-350. But uh, I was having a lot of fun up there. It was a great place to mill. And now, look at that, right there, there it is. LT-40 sawmill in my wife's Christmas village. Yes, folks, she stole my model and I'm giving one of those away. This is up in Vanderhoof, British Columbia, where we homesteaded a piece of land back in 1967. And I videoed trying to find the old cabin site. We did eventually find it. Using the Stone Coat Countertops router sled. And that, I was actually playing darts back in 06, but I decided to put that up in 2020, where I beat Bob Anderson, a world champion. 2019, there's that sawmill. Had a hole of nine subs in. If you noticed, I had 30 before that. And, and the grandkids dancing around, I threw that in there because actually they're the reason why I started building the channel more in 2021. 
60 videos seemed like a lot, not compared to 2022. So I did a lot of Jeep videos, stuff like that. This one was from a look back at 10 years. That's the rooftop tent for the Jeep. I did some up at the cabin, just some different videos, put 35s on the Jeep. With the four tens, actually. Had a traffic jam. I'm not gonna tell you where it is because that's one way that you can get another entry. Camping at Bannock State Park uh, on our ghost town trip. Making D-logs, uh, did some videos on milling D-logs in Old Pine. And then one of my most popular videos last year was the Oregon ghost town trips. Doing mods. We went and ran the Washington BDR route in our Jeep and I put a few videos for that out. And <laughs> I was still using my crappy camera. Didn't have my GoPro 9 yet. I said if I got 200 subscribers, I'd get another camera. And I did. Putting the umbrella up. Got a different umbrella there. Here I'm just doing some different stuff in the shop that I often film. Yeah, it was Bourbon 30 right there. I, I was lying to you. <laughs> All right. Making, making my Wayne Scott for the bar. That was the log I couldn't lift. What did I call that log? I got beat by my first log. F-35 flyover. Gotta love it when that happens. Well, we got that log up on the deck. That was a monster, 4,700 pounds. That's another one of my questions that I'll tell you where to find them here in a minute. Hitting the dunes with the Jeep after I got over COVID. Doing alignment on the mill, changing out the bearings. Working on the cabin solar power system. And, oh look, I'm chopping wood again. <laughs> Fixing the mill again. Sometimes you gotta do maintenance on the mill. Liming in the field right there. That was morning at the sawmill. Put a little piano music behind it for you. And that one right there, that always cracks me up. Kid jumped up on that log, sat on it actually. Milling up in East Wenatchee back in, oh gosh, I must have been 21. I've milled several times. There's some videos out right now up there. Fixing my uh, feed drive belt motor, or drive motor belt, whatever you want to call it. Milling up two more logs in Colotus, Washington, and back to the cabin. Just doing a little work out at the cabin, doing talking about the ReSharp program here. All good stuff. Arriving at the cabin at night, getting a fire going with dryer lint. Dryer lint's the best for starting fires, folks. And oh look, something's laying across the solar panels. That's another question. Cold morning. My shop's a mess. That's what that one was. <laughs> Putting in butterflies in the uh, bar top or something. Milling cookies. Black locust took several passes to get that one cut. Back out at the dunes. This was December of 21, I think. That guy almost went the wrong way there. Let me tell you, that was a bit scary. This was introduction to portable milling. Milling up black locusts. It was too damn cold. <laughs> and that was a shout out to Steve and Bonnie over at MSD making sawdust on my look back video, my review on my Husky lawnmower and snowblower. That's doing pretty good still. There I am making a lot of sawdust. That's crazy, huh? That's the coffee table. I showed you the coffee table uh, in one of my videos and my new WAN dust collector. Milling up black walnut. That's uh, Wayne Scotty for the cabin. Driving in three feet of snow in the Jeep and doing my cabin chat out at the cabin. <laughs> I don't know how many of you watched that, but there's some funny tales I told right there. And then, of course, we had the flood at the cabin. That was a bit crazy. Middle of winter, and I had a big flood. That was the log clamp thing video. <laughs> Here I am trek, trekking to the outhouse because the uh, toilet froze. My husky saw on my what I bring video. Uh, let's see, milling up black wall. That was black locust. This is the walnut. Talking about uh, charging. Showing you my field office. Doing a little more chatting about building customer relationships. And there's the broken sink. Look at that water everywhere. I can say that it's what the I'm difference a between a hobby store and a production store? Dry Falls, Washington, brought that to you. That quarter sawing primer, and actually then actually quarter sawing a log up for you. Making D logs, 
So this log is close. Let's see, that was re-milling a, re-sawing a D-log, blew a tire on the way to a job. A little short I did on a job site I was on, and then of course the next few are, well, let's see, oh, they were back up at the cabin again. That was my yoga pants one, I think. No yoga pants video. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see. Milling up at the cabin some more. And then uh, my safety briefing in uh, Clay Allen, Washington. Milled up over 400 one by 8 8 feet long for a customer there, and then a bunch of other stuff. Here I am camping out, getting ready to go up near Leavenworth, and that was a short that popped in between these videos coming out, which were still in Clay Allen. That's more of the clay alum stuff, and I do a lot of those. Uh, they come out later. So this one was in Idaho, slabbing, and then back to Leavenworth. This is when I actually went to Leavenworth. Getting up there to the job site. One of my more popular videos, Big Wood, I think it was called, milling up a 20-foot monster dug fur. Getting the chainsaws out on the quarter sawing video. That means you're going to have now from the bark and you can raise your toe boards and, and kind of level. Let's see uh, what a band break uh -oh. looks like. That's what that one was. <laughs> that was a good video. I enjoyed that one. There we go. Milling in North Spokane. Did several videos there. Um, just different videos on milling. Now we're a little short up in Idaho again. And now we're in Idaho slabbing. This was my sister. We were having a good time up at the cab, and I put that short out. And this is uh, back at milling in North Spokane. Usually you'll see the milling videos go out and then the short. So this was a short for Cedar Tree when we took the Jeep, and that was a guy I met on the side of the road. Cool guy. Let's see, the old Jarhead Sawdust Roadshow. Having lunch in Seaside during our vacation. Back out to Idaho again bunch of big slabs I did a little short for when I went to wood miser quick trip to the cabin tearing apart the old composter shed and here we are up in Idaho milling up a bunch of logs up there it's a beautiful location had a great time this one was why I moved the saw head to the center I think and that one was nailed it where I hit a bunch of nails crazy getting the job done that was the DNR visit for the cabin, if you haven't seen that video. Bear stories. Yes, that's a true story, by the way. Let's see. That's still milling in Idaho. We did a lot of videos for milling in Idaho. I had a good time up there. That's the customer using my log right can hook that you can win. And again, there's something you can do. Get extra points there. In fact, there's going to be a bunch of questions down in the description. If you answer those and email me the answers and get them right, you get five more entries. <laughs> okay, I found my bearing puller. It was in the auto parts store. It's really strange. I, I found my uh, there, <laughs> my you know puller in the in the auto parts store. I said milling up one little maple log. That was my visit to Woodmiser on the Resharp program, and then we went and milled up a bunch of black locusts with a six-year-old running the hydraulics. That was fun. That was a great video. I loved that one. Look at that sawdust. I lost my voice after that. Sometimes you got. Is it worth it? That was that video. This was impossible log or something like that. Stop it right now. Replacing the control panel. Got that done. Oh, how to mill something. Small logs, I think. Uh, this was a bunch of dug fur I milled up. Getting near the end of this one, folks. The big fur is the latest one. And so real quick before um, I let myself talk at the end of this video, down in the description below, there are five questions. If you email the answers to me, every answer you get right, you get another entry into the Log Right Can't Hook giveaway. Put a comment in the video below. That just gets you one entry into the whole thing, the whole giveaway. I want to take the time to thank Log Right, Wood Miser, United Rentals, and Angry Gnome for their donations. And, and I'm going to let myself take it away right here. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I got one more for you. I got a bonus item for you. That's worth two entries into the log right can't hook drawing. So this is what you got to do. You got to go back to the echo chainsaw video and post a comment to the effect, something to the effect of you want to see that echo in a side by side comparison with a Husqvarna 540i battery powered chainsaw. If you post that comment in that video, or something to that effect you get two more entries I'll be looking for that so and just kind of recap some of what I talked about in the video the five 
video questions that I give, you get one entry for each of those you get right. If you get all five right, you get another entry. So that's a total of seven additional entries. So if you make a comment in this video below, that counts as an entry. If you, you know, that's, <laughs> there's an entry, right? All you gotta do is say, hey, thanks for sharing. Done, you're in the contest. But if you answer those five questions, that's five more. And if you go post a comment in that Echo Chainsaw review about seeing a side-by-side -side comparison with the Husqvarna, two more. So that's a total of eight that you can get in order to win that log right can hook. Again, I'm doing it for you guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your subscriptions. I hope to see your comments in videos to come. I have got lots of content still to put out. I'm working on it daily. Again, I really appreciate the fact that you're all here today. I, I think you guys are just an awesome bunch of folks. And, you know, this has been a journey and I've really enjoyed it. You folks are great. You keep me motivated. Keep me wanting to go out and make more videos for you. So, appreciate you watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your subscription. The old jarhead out.